Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I just want you to consider this possibility. Do you know there could be a systematic plan by the money holders of this country, and maybe even the world, that may need America to go into chaos to go into overdrive and begin to collapse and self-destruct in order for them to bring about what they want. Now, this is what I suspected about six to 10 months ago. I wondered if, whether it's the Illuminati or whoever, I wondered if people were being paid to stir up strife and division right here to reignite uh, prejudice and bigotry and intolerance, to reignite suspicions and fears and all kind of stuff. Well, see, when you start to get all that kind of madness going, you're stirring the pot and you're just bringing up all those impurities to the surface. And here's the sad part. People buy into it because... 80% of your population, I'm throwing numbers out, I don't know. But I would say approximately 80% of the population is it consists of followers. And 10 to 20% consists of leaders. And 5 or 10% of those leaders act as catalysts. And if it serves their interests now, listen... Most of us are at the bottom of the box. You know, you get a, uh, okay, you get a cup like this. Okay, you see my cup. Well, if we're way down in the cup, we can't see what's going on outside of the cup. But if you're on the top rim and you have the freedom to fly around the cup and beyond the cup because you have the money to do so, you get to see everything else that's going on. And you see what we down here don't see. So when you can, when you have that kind of setup, you can manipulate all kinds of things. And you can uh, plan in advance for the economy to go up or for the economy to come down, even to the point of collapse. And you know how to play your money so that when the collapse happens, you get fatter than you've ever been. You get so filthy rich, it's ridiculous. So think about this, you guys, that are at the bottom of that cup, that are stirring up all kind of strife. If you are being paid to do so, it could be a strategy of dissolving our very foundation. You get a couple of thousand dollars, 10,000. You might even get 100,000 or more. But look at what, as, uh, as one guy put it, the fat cats, look at what they're getting. Look at how they're just raking it all in, laughing all the way to the bank while the little ants are down at the bottom of the cup scrambling for scraps and killing each other over nonsense. That doesn't even exist. Smoke screens. Do you know an illusionist can make something that's not even real, that's not even there, seem as tangible and real as possible? A person can get on a computer and create videos and, and create all kind of imagery and all of that from a, a computerized I don't even know, graphics, let's just say graphics, and they can make something look so real. I mean, look at Godzilla, look at, look at uh, um, uh, King Kong, look at all these creatures that they can create from nothing but a thought. If people can do that and make millions and billions of bucks, just hoarding us into, hurting us into the movie theaters and sitting there <laughs> paying out hard-earned dollars, making them rich. Imagine how much more 
they can spread pop propaganda to get us to hate each other so that they can ha, 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 go all the way to the bank. Look at them dummies playing right into our hands. And you're willingly doing so. You're willing, some of you are willing to sell out. Hey, country goes down, I got my money, I go somewhere else. We're either one nation under God, indivisible, or we're a big fat joke. And I ask you, since you know the divide and conquer strategy, which side of that coin do you want to be on? 